Hello and welcome to another Reaper tutorial. Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to load scripts. So there are a lot of really cool scripts people have made on the Reaper forums that are really helpful when you're trying to improve your workflow so it doesn't take you four hours to get loop recording to work how you want it to. Uh, so this is for folks who have never worked with scripts before who may find one on a forum and want to try it out. So let's get to it. Um, I found this script by C. Filion that I want to use. So I'm going to show you two ways to get this script into Reaper. The first way is to right click the link to the code that C. Filion has posted and click save link as. And if the file type here doesn't say uh, LUA, you can click this dialog box, go down to all files and add dot LUA to the end and hit save and it'll save it as an LUA file. But mine has LUA, so I don't need to worry about that. So uh, we're going to name this something else. How about test? So now we're going to head back into Reaper and open up the actions list. Uh, you can use shift forward slash or question mark if that helps it get it stuck in your brain hole a little better. And you'll see down here on the bottom right, we have the rescript area. And since we downloaded that LUA, we're going to click load, but we're going to get that test.lua file and load it in. You'll see that it pops up right here in our actions list and whatever function that it does, if you click it, it will work now. So I'm going to delete this and show you the second way to do this. So let's head back over to the Reaper forums. Uh, this is a little more complicated. We're going to actually make our own new script. So first I'm going to copy this code that C. Filion has uh, shared with us. We're going to go back to Rescript and click New. And once you hit New, you're going to have to name your new script. So I'm going to name this test2 because I already have a test in there. Uh, once this pops up, the uh, rescript environment opens and right clicking doesn't work how we think it would normally in, in this environment. So we'll have to use shortcuts. So we copied the uh, code. We'll have to use control V or command V on Mac to paste the code. And then we'll have to save the code with control S or command S on Mac. Once you do that, uh, now this uh, test2.lua is the script and all of the stuff that you put in there. Uh, if you want to check that it's in there, you can hit edit and you'll see that it's all there. So that's it for this video. Um, I'll link to a video where we use a script uh, in, in real time to help us get moving quicker. I hope this tutorial helped you reap the benefits of Reaper. Bye.